click on authorizers, then hit the create new authorizer button. Give your authorizer a name, choose Cognito, then select the Cognito user pool that we just created. Enter a token source value of your choosing, hit create, then click on the test button. Consider this, you have a REST API deployed using the Amazon API gateway, and now you want to secure it using Amazon Cognito user pool. Can you do this using the AWS console? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, hit create function and give it a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, hit create function, then scroll down to the code source section. Click on the test button, hit invoke to execute your Lambda function, then confirm that your function is working as expected. Next, let's navigate to the API gateway service, click create API, then hit build in the REST API section. Give your API a name, hit create, then choose create method from the actions dropdown. Select the get method and confirm the integration type is set to lambda function, then select the lambda function that we just created. Hit save, then click on the test button to test your get method. Confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the response party. Now that our API is working as expected, let's deploy it by going to the actions dropdown, then hit deploy API. I'm going to create a new deployment stage here called prod, then hit deploy. Let's copy our invoke URL, then fire up the Postman software and hit the plus button to start a new request. Paste the invoke URL, then hit send, and confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the response body. Next, let's navigate to the Cognito service, then click on create user pool. I'm going to choose username from the user pool sign-in options, then hit next. For security requirements, I'm going to disable multi-factor authentication for this example, and leave everything else to their default values, then hit next. For sign up experience, let's leave everything to their default values, then click on next. For email message delivery, I'm going to select send email with Cognito, then click on next. Give your user pool a name, select Cognito hosted UI, then enter a Cognito domain prefix. Let's give our app client a name, then enter a callback URL. Hit next, review your configuration, then click on create user pool. Now go inside your user pool, hit create user, then enter a username. Let's set a temporary password, then click on create user. Next, navigate to the app integration tab, then click on your app client name. Scroll down to the hosted UI section, hit edit, then change the OAuth grant type to implicit. Hit save changes, then click on the view hosted UI button. Enter the username and temporary password that we just created, then select a new password and specify an email address. Hit send, then copy paste the URL in a text editor and enable word wrap. Let's extract the value of ID underscore token parameter from this URL, then copy it in our clipboard. Next, let's head back to the API Gateway tab, click on Authorizers, then hit the Create New Authorizer button. Give your authorizer a name, choose Cognito, then select the Cognito user pool that we just created. Enter a token source value of your choosing, hit create, then click on the test button. For authorization token, paste the value of ID underscore token parameter, then hit test. Confirm that you see a response code of 200 and your Cognito username in the response body. Let's do another test where I enter an invalid token and confirm that I see unauthorized request in the response body. 
now that our authorization token is working as expected, let's go back to our get resource and go inside method request. Let's change the authorization to the Cognito user pool that we just created. If you don't see it, hit the refresh button and try again. Next, let's deploy this change by going to the Actions dropdown, then click on Deploy API. I'm going to choose the same deployment stage as earlier, then hit the Deploy button. Now, let's head back to the Postman UI and try hitting Send again without adding the authorization header. As expected, we're receiving the unauthorized message in the response body. Let's fix this by going to the headers tab, then add my token for key with the value of id underscore token parameter. Hit send and confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the response body. Watch what happens if I enter an invalid token. As expected, I received the unauthorized message in the response body. There you have it, but before you go, Here's a question for you. Why did the developer bring a fan to the Amazon Cognito conference?